hello viewers welcome to my channel today's topic is thrombotic thrombocytopenic preparer or known as ttp but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com now i'll come to the topic uh, which is uh, thrombotic thrombocytopenic preparer ttp you know it is a rare disorder and it affects the blood tendency to clot uh, in this disease tiny clots form throughout the body and uh, these tiny clots have the major consequences now the tiny uh, clots can block blood vessels uh, this stops your blood from being able to reach to your body organs which are vital for some reasons and uh, this can compromise the functioning of your vital organs such as heart or brain and kidneys you know now the tiny blood clots can also use uh, uh, up to many of your blood vessel blood platelets you know and uh, your blood might then uh, be unable to form clots when it needs to form them you know and uh, for example uh, if you are injured uh, you may be unable to steep, uh, like uh, stop bleeding you know now the next thing is what are the uh, causes of uh, so there was the introduction what is the uh, thrombotic uh, thrombocytopenic uh, purpura you know and the next thing is what are the symptoms well if you have uh, like a, a thrombotic thrombocytopenic uh, uh, like a purpura you know uh, your symptoms may include like uh, uh, on your skin like you might notice bruises uh, that are uh, purplish in color and uh, have no obvious reason and uh, these marks called purpura you know and uh, they are part of what gives you uh, this condition you know it's the name you know it's a, it's a part of the name you know and uh, you might uh, also have uh, like tiny red or uh, the purple spots that uh, uh, look like the rash you know and uh, your skin uh, may turn yellowish uh, which is called joints and your skin may look pale you know and uh, it might be associated with the other symptoms like uh, fever or fatigue and confusion you know and uh, maybe weakness and headaches and uh, in serious cases a stroke or a major internal bleeding or the coma can also occur so these are the signs and the symptoms of uh, a thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura now the next thing is what are the causes well You know, uh, there is an inherited form of TTP that uh, transmits as an autosomal recessive trait. And uh, this means that both parents of an affected individual must carry a copy of the defective gene. And the parents don't usually have the symptoms of this disease. They are just carriers and this genetic form results from a mutation in the ADAMTS13 gene you know and this gene plays a role in the production of an enzyme that causes your blood to clot normally and the abnormal clotting occurs when this enzyme is not present and enzymes are special proteins you know and their function is to increase the rate of metabolic chemical reactions and they are vital you know so there was a congenital form you know or inherited form you know other one is acquired uh, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura or also known as acquired ttp you know your body mistakenly produces the proteins that interfere with the enzyme's job you know and uh, this is known as acquired ttp you know you can get it in uh, a variety of ways like uh, you can develop a few have HIV for example you know or uh, you can have uh, you can develop it uh, 
after certain medical procedures such as blood and uh, like bone marrow stem cell transplant and surgery you know. and uh, in some cases uh, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura can develop during pregnancy or uh, if you have cancer or have infection you know and uh, some medications can lead to develop this condition as well and these may include like estrogen or uh, like hormone therapy or chemotherapy and uh, uh, cyclosporin A you know so that's what causes you know uh, the next thing is uh, how do the doctors diagnose that you have this condition you know well diagnosing usually requires multiple tests and your doctor will begin with the history family history or the case history and uh, which will be followed by the physical examination and uh, this involves like looking at any physical symptom of the disease you know so he will check your blood pressure he will look around your uh, body you know so find any evidence of any uh, superficial thrombosis etc you know or any warmth or tenderness or sign of uh, any infection you know and uh, your doctor will also test your blood and uh, uh, then he will test it under the microscope in fact he will send the specimen to the lab you know to check under the microscope okay and uh, it will reveal whether they have uh, damage from the kind of uh, uh, TTP you know and your doctor will also check your blood for low platelet levels because uh, uh, the increased clotting causes increased use of platelets as a result their number falls down you know and they will also check for high levels of bilirubin which is the substance that is a result from the breakdown of red blood cells you know and your uh, doctor may also check the blood for antibodies uh, for uh, creatinine levels and uh, lack of ADA MTS 13 enzymes you know and you know the antibodies are uh, uh, the proteins that interfere with the enzyme uh, with, uh, known as ADA MTS 13 and the creatinine levels increases when uh, if uh, the kidney involvement due to um, the breakdown of muscles you know and uh, lactate uh, dehydrogenase uh, which is uh, released from the tissue injury by uh, blood clot that are caused by the TTP, you know. So, this way your doctor will be able to diagnose the thrombotic, thrombocytopenic purpura, you know. Once diagnosed, then what are the treatment options is another question, you know. You know, the doctors typically treat by attempting to return your blood, uh, I mean, to restore the blood's ability to clot you know and uh, the treatment options may include like plasma mm -hmm. and uh, uh, like uh, medications and surgery you know you know uh, the usual treatment uh, for the inherited uh, uh, thrombotic thrombosis uh, cytopenic purpura is to administer the plasma intravenously or through the IV you know and uh, the plasma is the liquid protein uh, like portion of the blood that contains the essential clotting factors and uh, you can receive it from fresh frozen plasma you know and uh, an alternative treatment that's uh, common for the acquired a form of this condition is the plasma exchange which means that the plasma from a healthy donor replaces your plasma so during this procedure a healthcare professional or doctor or nurse will dry your blood just like when you donate your blood you know and in the lab a technician will separate the plasma from your blood using a special machine called the cell separator you know and this will replace your plasma with the donated plasma and you will then receive this new solution uh, through another IV you know and the donated plasma contains water proteins and essential clotting factors you know and uh, this procedure takes about uh, 
two hours and uh, regardless of whether you have the inherited or the acquired form uh, you will likely need to have the treatment every day until your condition improves you know and the next treatment option is the medications you know and if the plasma through uh, treatment uh, is not successful you know and your doctor may begin to treat you with the medications to <coughs> stop your body from destroying the uh, those uh, uh, enzymes you know and uh, your spleen might need to be surgically removed if uh, other treatment options fail you know uh, and the next thing is uh, about the uh, outlook you know and the prognosis you know well it can be fatal if it's not uh, found and treated right away you know and especially when the platelet levels are dangerously low and if you think you might have this condition uh, don't delay just uh, con uh, contact your doctor or the emergency room straight away and uh, if you get prompt and the proper treatment uh, it's likely you will recover well from the condition thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, and uh, once again uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel to support thank you goodbye